uh thank you thank you once again uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drop this link in the chat for everyone there you go well you come on up uh shalom shalom lauren shalom Don't forget to hit that like button on the way in, fellas. Don't forget to hit that like button. Ah, uh, peace, new no, peace, peace, brother, no, my guy. Ah, uh, what's good? What's good, hey yo? Get that going, get no Lawrence probably. Getting his tea together, give him time to come in. But yeah, like I said earlier on my last one, I wanted to, uh, Thank everyone for helping to get me to <clears throat> helping to get me to 100, 100 subscribers. I want to thank y'all for that. Appreciate that. Yep, I figured that was the case, <laughs> Lawrence. I need to get mine too. So y'all excuse me real quick while I get my tea. gentlemen i'm back i'm back i'm back had to get my tea all right <clears throat> but uh yeah like the uh subject was was on how to give to the poor uh i'm gonna ask everyone i mean how many people i mean tell me put a one in the chat if you've seen people that just just kind of uh have the habit of doing uh, charitable acts just for just for being seen for notoriety uh so they could be uh praised for doing such even though you know most of them they they really don't even care about doing it uh <laughs> they just want to be seen doing it, it to receive to receive some kind of kudos for doing so uh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah uh yeah, I know New seen it. I've seen it. I think we've all seen it. You know, people doing that. Uh, <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. You got a lot of them people doing it on Facebook talking about they just done something so they could get that and get that light. <laughs> they want you to share for doing something. It had nothing really actually to do with uh, actually doing the act, but they're, they're posting it because they want somebody to, you know, that, hey, look at me. That way somebody give them a, uh, that like and that uh that clap the hand clap for for doing something you know has nothing at all to even do it has nothing at all to even do about just doing the act that's why whenever you read it says it <laughs> it says there and i think it's verse uh oh yeah verse four uh no not verse four verse three i believe when i look yeah no verse two it says when i, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, they have already received 
their reward in full. And that reward that they receive in full is what they were looking for, for those for that uh, for that adoration by everyone else instead of just doing what needed what they were supposed to be doing for the sake of doing it, because that's what that's what's supposed to happen. And. um Okay, hold on. Let me Let's see here. Audio. <clears throat> but yeah, I think this. Uh, I think we all know somebody. A lot of people that do that. Excuse me for a minute. And uh, it's pretty. It's pretty interesting and to see those people. And, and what I like in seeing them is that once you see them and they're exposed, you know who you're dealing with. Um, therefore, you know, you, you know, pretty much not to really even deal with them. That's, that's, I mean, that's essentially how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to separate yourself from these people. And that, uh, it, it, like I said, you know, this was ex inspired by, you know, uh, the, um, uh, stream that Mr. Fantastic had um, on donating to this little girl who was shot, <clears throat> this little one month year old girl who was shot uh, because, uh, you know, drive by shooting, I think is what it was, you know, in, in Virginia. And, uh, you know, you've got all kind of black people on her talking about, you know, these uh, these atrocities done by police. But um, this, this little one month year old girl who hadn't done anything to anybody and uh th that's not getting brought up because of the simple fact that oh yeah <laughs> somebody looked like us done it so it doesn't matter as much as uh you know uh uh as black people who you know pretty much been doing fuckery for no better you know term of saying uh you know to their cause to their own the cause to their own demise you know they're putting themselves in this situation to end up like that now, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that uh, the, that you got police officers that are by any mean angels or, you know, they're all great. We all know that we've run across police that are, you know, they're downright. They're downright. Uh, they're duplicitous in nature. And, uh, you know, uh, they're only there for the check and could care less uh, about these people that they engage with. And, uh, you know, you can see it in their demeanor and their nature and how they talk with people every day, even when they're outside of the uniform. Uh, but um, to blame others for your situation uh, that you created because of the lifestyle you chose to live, you know, it's, you know, it's full of crap. Um, that's the consequences of it, of those decisions that you made. And it's not you can't blame that on anybody else. It's a consequence of it. I mean, if you choose, I mean, if you chose to play with fire, you, the, the chance you're taking of playing with said fire is getting burned. Uh, it's nobody else's fault that you got burned. It's yours for choosing to play with it. But um, uh, we have a a problem with accountability in society. We have a problem um, with wanting to blame other people for for our own actions. Mm. Welcome, Lawrence. Welcome. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear okay, you. Okay, there we go. My bad. I'm sorry about that. I had a, a quick moment of delay. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. You so, I'm a, so, 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 so you flashed in my face talking about tea. And then while I'm making my tea, nobody else can call, can call in to talk to you while I'm making my tea. You know <laughs> what? Y'all, y'all, a bunch of dirty bums. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Nah, we're nah. going to gonna have to talk anyways. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, actually, um, I was curious about something uh, myself. Um, going back to the Mr. Fantastic thing. Yes. Um, uh, like I said, I, I watched that stream uh, from beginning to end. That was good work. That, that yes. seriously was good work. Yes. Um, now, now, I know from from some people's perspective, they might make the complaint that, well, you know, well, he said he'll match this and he did that. So he's talking about all all that he did, you know, to. To, to, to put to the GoFundMe and all that. I, but but I would like to take a different perspective on it. 
I don't mm-hmm. look at that. I don't look at that as somebody being able to say he did that for bragging rights. No. Myself personally, from everything he said, I look at it as him putting um putting down the gauntlet. You know what I'm saying? For everybody right. else, for mm-hmm. everybody else who talks about the game but don't do the game. Does that make sense? You know, exactly. In, 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 in other words, don't talk about it, be about it. Right. Bottom line. And, and also to bring out that point that that's exactly what he was doing when he was asked about attaching his channel and everything to doing to to this donation to kind of bring a, a light to it his he said no 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 he said i'm just gonna match it and we're gonna do it it just went to prove that his intentions weren't to look at me his intentions yeah. were to bring light to the situation and duplicitous nature of the people here from what i saw yeah, uh, that, which yeah, is that, why, yeah which is why i said you know he it, it, his actions and his doing this inspired that stream. No, ain't no way did was he doing that, you know, to bear false anything about it, which is, uh, is exactly actually in the chat while I put, you know, I, I actually, uh, I actually brought up, you know, uh, in the chat in, in my message, you know, I, was, I thought that was great and brought up Matthew six uh, verses three and four to, to allude to such. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, he was going off on others bragging about doing things, but having, but not actually doing it. And also he was going off on the simple fact of them complaining about what happened with Breonna Taylor and others, but you know, they're not complaining and showing light on this, on this little one year old girl who hadn't done anything to anybody. She hadn't done anything to put herself in this situation, this little one, one month old baby. And, uh, but people can complain about other things where people put themselves in these situations, but this baby didn't, and they couldn't get behind that and support it. But we had plenty of people that were there that did get behind it and support it. And then for him to also uh, match that, what everybody had done was, uh, oh man, it was nothing short of amazing and uh, worthwhile to see. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's, that's why I wanted to bring it up because you had touched on what he did. And that, you know, you got lurkers sometimes who so, will so sit in the background listening to this and then try to use that to say, see, see, did see, see how they say, you know, he's bragging too, but he, that's not what he was doing. He was not exactly. even close. Now, it exactly. wasn't even close to what he was doing. He he was putting the gauntlet down and he was telling, you know, yeah, and, and rightfully so. Yeah. Yo, we can't, you, you can't come up here talking about, you know, you're going to be this person, that person, and then, you know, do the total opposite. So right. I, 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 I was down with that. I, yo, I ain't going to lie. I rode that horse with him into the sunset. I, I, I wasn't even mad at it. Yeah, I agree. It was, um, I wasn't even it was, mad at it. it to me, it, it was probably one of the finest moments that I had seen on here and in this space. And while I think about it, salute ill wheels. What's good, brother? You know, oh, Ill Wills is in here. Yeah, Ill Wills is wow. in here. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> yeah, he's been one of my recent subscriber. Thank, thanks to uh, Black Ram and uh, brother Oheen over there in that space. Uh, you know, uh, giving me shout outs over there and telling others to you know to check out my channel and everything. Uh, nice, but nice. Uh, also, but yeah, to get back to the point, you know, it was a. Uh, it uh yeah it it was one of the I think that, that I can think of it's the finest moment that I had seen on YouTube especially in what they like to call the Black Manosphere or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, um, it was well done. It it, well it, done. Yeah, it was one of the finest moments I think yeah. I have seen. Yeah, it, and, it was uh, very well done. And to have all those collection of people to that did uh donate and support that cause, which was a fine cause to support, you know, a little one month old baby. You know, mm-hmm. trying to survive and hang on after, you know, after this shooting uh, mm-hmm. by, you know, while these people were just they just sitting out on the porch and for a child yeah. to get shot like that. It was great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But um, yeah, that, that, that was yeah, that was a good moment. And, that, and, that, yeah. and that's 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 how we that's how we should be doing this. I mean, seriously, that's, I mean, if we want to distinguish if, if we want to distinguish ourselves from all the other nonsense, that's 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 how we do it. I agree. That's, 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 I agree. That's one of the that's one of the ways on how we how we do it. Um yeah. but um but uh uh going back to the subject of 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 helping the poor and charity and all that good stuff. I I do know um and again this is this is where you or someone in the chat would be um uh better equipped to say exactly which one it is. But there's a there's a section in scripture where it talks specifically about um uh, helping the widow and helping the orphan. 
Oh, gosh, and, and, I wasn't even and, ready for that one. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I was asking because I know he gave I know he gave specific people to help and to do it in very specific ways. Hold on. Um, I know for women. Hold on. I, I've got it here somewhere. I've got it marked. Keep going. Keep going while I find it. Well, yeah, I'm I'm just curious on 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 how on okay. how that works because because with someone okay. like me because with someone like me right mm-hmm. who's both black pill but Israelite, my black pill nature tells me I'm not helping women at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but from yeah. but from a but from an Israelite perspective and following with scriptures, that has to be my primary motivation. Does that make right. sense? Yes, yes, it does. And, and and if he's giving me a commandment that I'm supposed to help this particular type, et cetera, and so on. Gotcha. Then that's that that's 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 where my conflict comes in, um, mm-hmm. from 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 my secular nature versus my spiritual nature. That's 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 where I'm having difficulty because you gotcha. everyone's heard me. I'll let it burn as far as I'm concerned. But right, at the right. Same, but, but at the same time, my personal issues with them has nothing to do with my responsibility to the Most High. So that's the that's just the way I'm looking at it. All right. Um, what it what it says here on on, on widows, uh, we go to uh, First Timothy chapter five um and where we start there we can start with uh chapter two we can start with verse two to older women as mothers to younger women as sisters in all purity uh being careful to maintain appropriate relationships uh honor and help those widows who are truly widowed alone and without support but if a widow has children or grandchildren who are adults see to it that these First, learn to show great respect to their own family as their religious duty and natural obligation. So it says they're not saying here it's not only their religious duty, but it is their natural obligation right. and to compensate their parents or grandparents for their upbringing. For this is acceptable and pleasing in the sight of God. Now, a woman who is really a widow and has been left entirely alone without adequate incomes, trust in God and continues in supplications and prayers night and day, whereas she who lives for pleasure and self-indulgence is spiritually dead, even while she still lives. So there in that sense is talking about a woman who uh, uh, they claim to be, who uh, they they are a widow, they may be alone, they may really be alone, but uh, she's living for pleasure, she's living for things that are not pleasing in the sight of God. So mm-hmm. it says really there to leave them alone because they are spiritually dead. So until they show themselves spiritually alive, you are under no obligation to, to even deal with them. And it says here in verse seven, continuing, keep instructing the people to do these things as well so that they may be blameless and be on reproach. If anyone fails to provide for his own and especially for those of his own family, he has denied the faith by disregarding his precepts and is worse than an unbeliever who fulfills his obligations in these matters. So what it's saying there on you, this goes to, this will uh, go in line with the aspect of the children. You said, if someone fails to provide for their own, that mean, that's meaning children, uh, those um, uh, adults that have grown and they don't, they don't, they don't help their uh, grandparents or parents that are, you know, they can no longer work or whatever. They don't provide the help or do things for them. Um, then they are worse than an unbeliever. And then I believe in the King James version, it says an infidel <laughs> to make a nasty oh, wow. term to show how bad um, they are. They are they are um, they are worse than that um, mm-hmm. because of the simple fact, you know, they're worse than an unbeliever, someone who doesn't believe in God. Who, who doesn't uh, proclaim to be of those precepts. They're worse than that. Right. <clears throat> and then moving on in nine, it says a widow is to be put on a list to receive regular assistance. And it's talking about at the church. Only if she is over 60 years of age, having been the wife of one man and has a reputation of good deeds. And, 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 and you know what? I take what? I, I think that uh, that wife of one man, I think what will look past it is if now if she's had multiple if she let's say she had two but the first one died then you know that 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 gets looked over now if it's through divorce then you know she's not she's not the uh she's not she doesn't qualify but if he died but if he died 
Yes. And she got married again. Then that could be the exception because of course she's done things according to the code and, and wills of God, will of God. Well, uh, okay, after no okay. Mace. Um, okay. Well, with that being said, then if the first one died, that makes well, I was going to say if the second one and, died too. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause I was going to say, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, because if the second one was still around, then there's, there's right. Yeah, that, it wouldn't there. But yeah, but yeah. yeah okay. Now she got married two times, and the second one died too. You know, then you know that's that, you know that that's different. Okay. Um, because she still, she still, even though they both died, she still did things according to what is the law. Okay. I mean, yeah, it said you're supposed to do it until death, and um, moving on to ten, and has a reputation for good deeds, so that applies too. She is eligible if she has brought if she has brought up children, if she has shown hospitality to strangers. Um, it, and it doesn't necessarily mean that she's had to have children, but maybe you know she's had them over. You know, you got some some ladies that you know they're like second mothers to people. You know, they they do things in the community, they cook and right. had other kids over. You know, things well, like well, that. That's yeah, what it's well, yeah. Well, to me, that comes across as the the aspect of the good deeds. Yes, that comes across as the brought up children mm -hmm. and showing hospi hospitality to strangers. Right, uh, right. If she has washed the feet of, of the saints, uh, God's people, if she has assisted the distress and has devoted herself to doing good in every way. Uh, and then it says here in 11, but refuse to enroll the younger widows. For when they feel their natural desires and disregard of Christ, they wish to marry again. Um and so they incur condemnation for having set aside their previous pledge. Uh, I, what it's talking about here is uh, it, uh, they, they were encouraged. Widows were encouraged not to marry again. Um, they were encouraged to devote themselves to God. But as it goes on here at 13 to say now at the same time, they also learn to be because of uh, them uh, not getting. Um, they're supposed to. But it says here in 13, the reason. Uh, why they um, these younger widows would um, uh, I'll just read it first and then go on. <clears throat> at the same time they also learn to be idle as they go from house to house and not only idle but also gossips busybodies meddlers and things that do not concern them talking about things they should not mention so if a younger widow is in the case that's going to have that idle time because it, it talks here in the bible all the time about idle time you know being a uh it, you know be pr pretty much being the pay paving the pathway to hell uh and, and it basically paving the pathway to unproductive things um yeah because what you do is you get into unproductive things like it says here they go from house to house uh well now you know with this age you know they can go on instagram and whatever else and, uh, phones and everything else talking about people that they shouldn't be yeah. talking about so it Go says there in 14 if, if that's going to be the case then I want these younger widows to get married, have children, and marry, manage their households, and not give up the opponents of faith for in, uh, faith in occasion for slander. So basically, you know, if, if they're going to become like that, it's better for them to get married again and uh, be a wife and be under be under the uh, um, the authority. leadership, yes, <clears throat> leadership and authority of a man. That way they're not idle. They don't have all that idle time. That way they can do and support his purpose as she is, as a woman is supposed to. That way it will not have opportunity for idle time to go around being in everybody's business, causing slander and everything. So then, so then my next question, after everything you just read and went over, then my next question would be, oh, <clears throat> then my bad. It was two more that I had to finish. If you, unless you want me oh, no, to go no. ahead. No, no, please go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Absolutely. 15 and 16. And then it says, 15 says, some widows have already turned away from the faith to follow Satan. If any believing woman has dependent widows in her household, she must assist them according to her ability. And the church must not be burdened with them so that it may assist those who are truly widows, meaning those who are truly alone and are dependent. If that helps you further. It, well, it does, but I, but I still have to, I still have that same. Oh, question. go ahead. No, go ahead. Um, so based, based on everything you just finished and, and, and based on the, the, um, uh, the interpretations you were given along the way. So here's my next question. Okay. So, so with all that being said for any of us who are willing to be charitable to that, to that quote unquote widow, 
we have a burden and responsibility to ensure that she meets the criteria set in the scriptures before doing so. Is that it? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. That's, that's okay. the first thing. Yes. Making sure that they meet that criteria. Okay. All right. So, so that, so that means this, so that means like, say for instance, myself or you, we, or anybody in the gym, we have to vet her. That's what we yeah. have to do. Oh yeah. Okay. That's right. right. That's game. That's real game right there. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, yeah, she must. You want to vet her thoroughly to be make sure you want to look at her track record, make sure that she is truly this what you think what she claims herself to be. You have to look at it. Yeah, you have to look at it. Well, well yeah, because the general consensus is, is like, hey, I lost my husband to cancer and then just give me everything. But the truth, yeah. but from everything you're saying, it's not as simple as that. This has and to right, be vetting. Yeah. To make sure she's doing what she's supposed to do properly to be worthy of that charity and also like i said in there you're never supposed to give everything because one who doesn't take care because if you give everything you now can't take care of your own and that makes you worse than an infidel well that what well, that puts us next to the to the aspect of um be good caretakers of what's given to you right being good okay. stewards exactly yeah yeah good stewards that's what i was looking for good stewards yeah exactly okay all right because 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 that that that's always uh something i i i've always grappled with um at the current stage i am right i get it mentally because um because like i said i know where i stand from a secular point of view right. um but 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 from a scriptural point of view that's more important to me yeah um so, so and, and yeah. not only that not only that no excuse me we should also be discerning in this when it comes to men as well I think it, it it's really not just I, I know it's applied to the widows there in this particular passage, but you should also apply this uh, to uh, to, I mean, people in general. Well, yeah, absolutely, because, I mean, a widow can just as easily be a, be, right. be a guy as well as well as children. Uh, it makes no sense to sit up there and take fools from your take food from your children's mouth to feed another. Uh, that's right, worse absolutely. than, like you said, yeah. it's worse than exactly. Yeah, um, yeah. But yes, yeah, absolutely. And like I said, the the widow aspect can just as easily be a man as it could be a woman. Yes, it could. It um, could. So, so I'm assuming, well, not assuming, but you would use the same discernment and criteria when you're talking, when you're vetting the man, the same way you would as if it was a woman. Exactly. That's right. That's right. You would. Uh -huh. um, and also, I want to uh, take a short break right now to just remind everyone. Uh, look at that ticker down there running at the bottom it says like share and subscribe uh i want to um uh yeah and it has a donation there if you choose to uh peace so provide a piece i'm gonna have to email you here soon uh but also i want to say uh yesterday had a uh great one-on-one -on -one with black ram if anyone is here that didn't get a chance to check that out check that out i think uh i think everyone enjoyed it um it was a uh, wonderful and uh uh, very fun to have him on. I think we had a great conversation and uh, I think the chat enjoyed, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, everybody in the chat enjoyed uh, being able to interact with him as well. And uh, it was, it was wonderful. It was great. Uh, well, we get back to it. Uh, Brother Lawrence, you got anything else you want to add, ask or add to the conversation? Anyone in the chat, feel free. Uh, what actually, actually that, that was that was my primary that was that was my primary okay. um, um, uh, uh, conversation uh, where that was concerned. Um, which, by the way, thank you very much. That helped me a lot. Oh, um, yeah. No, well, no problem. So yeah, because like I said, you know, there's uh, again my 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 secular brain uh, brain framework was like, nah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, on practicality <laughs> for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. For me, yeah, for me. Um, I can I get it. But um, but like I said, you know, at the end of the day, regardless of how I feel, my responsibility <laughs> to scripture is more important. Right, right. So, right. Or just as but, important, really. It, well, I mean it I mean it, I think it, they it go says, hand in hand. I, I'm I'm not gonna say I don't think either is more important either. I think they go hand in hand and weave together personally, but I may be wrong. But no, no, I could no I I I, I could I could see that perspective. I, I, I could see that perspective. At the end, especially if you block me, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, sup, ninjas and assassins. You know what? <laughs> he's so provider silly, man, but he's all right, man. I like so all right. But um, but yeah, but um, um, and I guess I, I guess I guess if there was anything else, it would be um 
uh, 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 what, what, you know, what, with that being said, how does that work with, with, with charities or being charitable to, to places, or organizations that don't fit that particular criteria? No, what with, do you mean? Uh, don't forget. With, well, well, like the, like, the like, criteria. Instead, well, like instead of, um, uh, widows and orphans, you donate to like, like St. Jude. I, the, uh, oh, talking like, about the don't. Like, yeah, like cancer well, society. And stuff. I, I, I think I think they fit that criteria. Like Saint Jude is they, like kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think they still fit that criteria in a sense that, um, you know, a lot of these places, you know, it causes, who, because of the simple fact it does, uh, hurt in a sense. Um, man, when you're dealing with the, especially, you know, let's say if it's um one individual having to be there to support this person going through ca- cancer and everything. Right. Um, you know, that's taking away time from their job as well. Uh, so that's going to affect everything on the, the cancer victim, their, their, uh, their finances, as well as the person that's taking them there and trying to help them. Uh, so it, it, if you, unless you know, you, you know, their character and they fake stuff and they got actually more than what they say, but that's going to take a, a strain on them. Um, financially and emotionally especially you know when it's not the whole you don't have the whole family supporting for that well i was thinking more in the sense of of being charitable more on a national level as opposed to responsibility being more charitable on a local level oh i got that okay talking about yeah i mean you still apply the same discernment no matter what to me yeah um i mean and, and if you hear but and also in the same turn if you hear about fraudulent acts with these um that's why it's good to vet them out you yeah. i mean you have you have to do your research on these because a lot of them start in that and uh that's like um uh one of the things you know like um uh, a susan, a susan but it's susan g coleman it came on a lot of uh flat because of the simple fact uh you had a lot of that, a lot of their money they went to pay them executives Mm-hmm. It wasn't even going. Yeah. So, yeah, you mm-hmm. have to do it. But, you know, ones like the National American Cancer Society and St. Jude and all that, they have that track record. And, and Ronald McDonald House and all that, they yeah, have yeah. that that better track record of doing right by their donators, doing right by the, the people that they're supposed to be helping. Yeah. Yeah. Well, also, and also, like I said, it's, it's a question of, of, of where your responsibility lies more. Cause, yes. cause like, you know, cause you, you'll have people like, you know, well, you know, you should, you should take care of your local place first before you start to donate or do charitable work on a national level. If you don't take care of your backyard, how can you go to somebody else's, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and, you know, and, and I get that they try and use that for that. But when you talk care, the, the, the backyard, you worried about more than anything is your own home. Absolutely. That's why it's your own Absolutely. personal home. Now, outside mm-hmm. of that, I don't think God looks at it in any any less or greater, any less than you know outside of your own home uh, okay. first. But I, yeah, but I mean, if you got so certain local things that you you want to donate to, yeah, of course, that's great. That's great. Well, no, no, you know, I, well, I, I do local. Well, I, no, I was just saying in general because I do local charity work here myself. Yeah. You know, so I get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because, like I said, I've, I've, I've heard those arguments. It's like you know, well, you're donating, you, you send the money to, to Africa, or you send the money to, you know, Asia or something like that. How come you don't leave it here in your own country? You know, those kind of arguments. Yeah. So, so I didn't, I didn't know from a scriptural perspective if we were, we were more honor bound to take care of our own first before going to take care of someone else. So. Right. Right. No, I get it. I did. I get so. it. Yeah, but, yeah, but that's 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 all I got. Okay, okay. Uh, well, if that's gonna be it, you know, I think uh, what I'll do is, you know, we'll close it down. I, if you got any your last words, I'll let you get uh, those off. Oh, uh, same as always, men first. All right. Well, all hashtag, right. Uh, hashtag men first. Let's get that going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I got you. Hashtag men first. Cool. Uh. And also, I just want to uh, tell everybody to stay, uh, yeah, just uh, hit that hit that notification bell. That way, you know, you can get everything when I start doing things, when I uh, <clears throat> do videos or whatever other content I'm going to do and release. That way you'll be notified and know. Um, I want to thank everyone for coming out yesterday uh, to uh, hear Black Ram and uh, see that, that one-on-one. I want to thank everyone here today. 
I want to thank everyone for subscribing to get me to 100 subscribers. I appreciate y'all. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate y'all. <laughs> exactly. Knew me first. What's good, Tona? Um, I want to, uh, Blood Rainer, I want to thank everyone. Uh, exactly. Knew me first always. Yeah, you got to take care of yourself. You ain't take care of yourself. You can't take care of anyone else. Oh, hold on. Oh. <laughs> I got a cash app in. Um, uh, Marco Grande sent me some money, told me to shout him out for clout. <laughs> oh, wow. And, and Marco, silly man. Now, nah, Marco. Hey, crazy. I'm, yeah, crazy, he's all right. Yeah. <laughs> I like Marco, man. Marco's good folks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, and, uh, but yeah, um, and Marco's doing a lot, you know, to show culture, different culture, um, uh, how people, how things go and operate different culture and all that. Uh, check that out. And, uh, but yeah, um, thank you, Tuna, for coming through. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, you, you kind of, uh, put my, put my stuff in the chat before. I appreciate that too. <laughs> yeah, new. <laughs> Everybody look at Marco. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody put up a somebody put up a thing with the googly eyes looking out. <laughs> what I didn't see that one. No, what I'm saying somebody should. Oh yeah, should. that'd be funny. Oh yeah, thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. Salute to you as well. But yeah, that's all I got. Just uh, keep uh, just keep uh, paying attention. I'm gonna be trying to release some more content and do some different things and uh, to add, um, uh, you know, make something different and new. And uh, something that's not because I don't consider myself part of this uh, part of niggas for uh, <laughs> that goes on here, all, all the crazy stuff. But uh, I want to thank everyone for coming out. Thank everyone for subscribing and listening. And uh, peace, everybody. <laughs>